Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Lega Dragon Infinite Wealth. In the previous video, we, uh... What did we do? <laughs> oh, we did, um, some side quest. More so that had to do with, um... Arakasa, which, by the way, I have another one for him. So, yeah, I got another text from him, so... I think we can... I don't know if I should do that one right now or if I should do story. Um, I did do some grinding off screen. Um, in the uh, Hawaiian Haunt. Uh, which was nice. Um, I only did like the first floor. The, you can actually do like three floors of that. Um, the first floor, I basically could mollywop any of them. And of course, I mean, I had to do it anyway to unlock you know, the second floor. Uh, I didn't do the second floor. I actually was thinking about doing the second floor, but I ended up not doing it. Uh, I played another commercial for Dondoko Island, so... Uh, that got more people to come over. I'll probably do another Dondoko Island uh, in a little... I'll probably do another one of those just so I can get more people there and I can have, like I said... I can have, like... If I can get the thing full the entire time, I'm there. Nice. What? Here's some friend. Aloha. Um. Sure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I actually made some more friends. Um. Yep. Just need uh 13 uh 23 more or 24 more. I can't count. Oh, okay. shit. You asked for it. Oh yeah, and as you see here, I changed up the classes. I can do this. All right. You're ready. Let's do this. Let's go. I changed up my classes for everyone. They're really good. It's not bad. <laughs> I might probably I probably should change them back to like their the jobs I had beforehand, but windmill finally I got that move that kinda like hits everyone. Look at me go. Birthday Banana. Oh, hello. Yes, and I've also gra uh, grinded my Sujimon. I, uh... Grinded Sujimon. I got new Sujimon. Um, I actually got a lot of Sujimon because I have... This for me? I got a lot of Sujimon because I had so many sure. of those draw tickets I just like fuck it and I did like a lot of those draws I actually uh so going to the gym you can get like oh hey uh you can get specific um draws from those so, like oh if you only want say oh can I actually invite this person to Dondoko Island now uh if you go to the uh if you go here you get like oh specifically uh uh you get the water based uh guys so oh i got to be a daredevil in order to invite you okay so i can't do that yet i don't know if that's our max uh charisma or whatever that is but aloha drinks are you Actually, let's look at my, at my uh, personality here. Confidence. I don't know if they tell you what they were. Um, and obviously, yeah, as you can tell, I didn't do any of the school stuff yet. I probably should do some of those. Um, I'm trying to think, did I... I know there's someone I invited to. I know there's someone I invited to Donjoko Island. Uh, from here. 
I think she was just like a regular hula dancer though, so it's nothing too special. Um, uh, where are we? We're in full swing. No, I don't want that. Okay, um... Ooh, I probably should do that one so that I can level them up. Um... Oh, there's the Blazing Legend. You know what? I think I will actually go do another one of the school stuff since it's very close to the uh, the story. So I'll try to redeem myself from the fuck up I did of the last one. So uh, yeah, I also did a couple of the uh, uh, just like the green uh, ones of the things that I saw. You know, like the green uh, talking bubbles. I guess they stay on the map if you just pass by them. But I, I'd rather do the green ones right away. The the purple ones, the ones that are specific conversations for people, those those should stay on screen. Because, like, yeah, they're pretty fun to listen to and everything. So, uh, I, think, I think just keep going straight. Probably be better. Uh, yeah, I... I grinded some Sujimon up, uh, tried to get some new ones up to friendship and such like that. Um, what are you staring at? I'll sue you. The battle is on. I'll sue you. Cool. Time to go all out. <gasps> Stick around, okay. Alrighty. But yeah, I'll probably go do the uh Oh god. Some scale the fuck out of me. What you looking at? I think I'm gonna kill I think I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I think I'm gonna kill you. What's with the side? Probably where I would use uh Let's oh, get loud, eh? Let's do it! If I get past them. Yes. Oh. Time to go all out. Prepare yourself. No stain, no. Looks like I must do this. Come on. Sure, I'll recruit him just so I can use him for my main guy. There you go. Here's a little something from me. Huh. What's it so like? All right, you can count on me. Even though I have a million of like committee dudes to use to boost up, um, I have a million committee dudes. I can use to, you know, boost up the stars or stats or whatever that, you know, awaken them and such. I still like, I like to use like their actual, like the actual Sujimons and save those for like the rare ones that are like rough to find, you know. Need to slow down now. 
I'm now buddies with Eddie. Yeah, I said I was actually going to do this fight, wasn't I? Uh, I, uh, oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's try it. Let's redeem myself. <laughs> oh, Welcome. I also have a picture I need to take there, too. Have you decided you'd like to Oh, uh, they were the nanes. Would all they celebrate uh, by Hawaii, but not other states? <sighs> I feel like it's either Aloha Day or King Kamehameha Day. <sighs> I'm gonna go with Aloha Day. That's probably wrong. That's a moo moo. <sighs> I'm going to get these on because I know nothing about it. <sighs> Two of those questions were from the uh, previous time I did, so. <laughs> hey, I passed. Oh. Ah, it was King Kamehameha Day. Yep, I knew it was a Moo Moo. Ah. So yeah, I lucked out because I knew Moo Moo. And the other two questions were from the one I did prior. Drink <laughs> Let's do one more. Have you decided on which exam? Marine life. You'd like to which of the following images is of the clownfish species? Well, geez. I live in an anemone, mama anemone. Which lives in the lowest point below sea level? Um, I think it might be football <sighs> fish because I think those are like. So dolphins do not have involuntary rep. Sorry, they have. They must be conscious to breathe. How mu how must they sleep in order to avoid suffocating or drown? <sighs> I think it's the cone of mucus. Black certain organs other animals may have, but they do possess structures that perform similar functions. Which of the following is one such structure of the moon jellyfish? Heart? Mm. That's probably wrong. Has lungs instead of gills and therefore cannot breathe underwater. Between these two, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to go with the whale because it's a mammal. I probably got this wrong, too. Obviously, I got that first question right because of Finding Nemo, but... Hey, I passed! <laughs> Time is money. Money's power. All right, how did I do though? Did I get more than three right? I only got three right. Yeah, football fish. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking too. Is like it was either that or the brain one. Eyes. Yeah. And done. Uh, orca. Okay, well, it's an orca whale or whatever. It's orcas whales are almost the same. <laughs> Welcome. Let me actually like look at some Have of these exams here. Alcohol expertise. I might actually do somewhat decent in that. World landmarks, I might do decent with that. Muscular science, probably not that good. Gardening proficiency? Um, I somewhat know some stuff. Underworld study, so yeah, this would be the, uh, that would be kind of like a thing. Gem proficiency, Sujima mastery, what?
various trivia from around the world. I might actually do some of these on that because I do know a lot of some useless trivias. Let's... I think I want to do these last two ones. I think I can do actually decent at some of these, so let's see. What does it mean to order a single or double whiskey? It is how much whiskey is poured. <laughs> Facility that produces beer is called brewery. What is one that produces wine called? It is a... Facility that produces beer is called brewery. Uh... Ah, uh, vineyards either where they make the wine. I think it's called a vineyard, though. Because I don't think a winery is a thing. Sugar cane has, was once grown extensively in Hawaii. The sugar from these plants is even used to make certain alcohols. One that a Hawaiian royal enjoy so much he set up his own still. Was, I believe it's... It's either rum or brandy. I'm going to go with ran rum. It's a wine in its name. I don't... I th think... Might be this one or this one. And we'll go two. <gasps> Drink shown here is a pipe cocktail most commonly made with dried gin and dried vermouth. Then garnish with olive. What's the name of it? Well, I think, yeah, that's a, it's a martini. Because that is a martini glass, so. Uh, I'm not, I don't feel as confident as I did now. As I do now. So. Hey! <laughs> it pays to be an alcoholic. I just hope I got more than three right. I only got three right. Motherfucker. It was a winery. I I know that makes sense. That makes sense. But I thought like... Oh yeah, Vineyard is where they make the grapes, isn't it? I don't know, I thought it was just a trick question. Yep, rum. Ah, oh, was the blue Hawaiian? Ah, oh, yep, that's a screwdriver. Makes more sense. And yeah, martini, because I know martini. It's a martini glass, so of course it's a martini. I could take on. <laughs> Welcome. Let's do one more of these, and then we'll do stories. Have you decided on which exam? I feel like I could do decent on the world landmarks, maybe. It's a torch. <sighs> it's a famous landmark in the United kind of, A palace is a clock tower known as the Elizabeth Tower. It's most commonly known as White by what nickname? <sighs> Big Ben. Images depict the Louvre, a famous museum. Um, fuck. I don't actually know what the Louvre looks like. I, I think it's, it's either three or two. Because I think four. Um, I'm going to go with. <sighs> Modeled after a town musician in Berm depict four animals, which is not one of the four. I <sighs> donkey. <sighs> Changing of the guard is a formal ceremony of which soldiers currently on duty. The old guard are relieved of their sentry posting by the new guard. A which iconic landmark do royal guards wearing their signature black <sighs> bearskin capes carry out this ceremony? I believe it had to be Buckingham, wouldn't it? That makes sense. Because that's where they... They're mostly set up there is at Buckingham Palace. Huzzah! I probably only got three right again. I know for sure I got one right. And I was confident on the second one too. I can't remember what the second one was, but I... I feel like I was very confident on that one. Oh my gosh, I only got three. So yeah, a torch. Oh yeah, Big Ben. Ah, it was four. And it was a pigeon. All oh, right, I completely forgot about that. And yeah, Buckingham Palace. That just makes the most sense. You have that at Buckingham Palace. All right, go. we're good. Hi. None of my Not characteristics really. Uh, leveled up, but I got them closer to their next level. Um, actually, should we go eat first? Eh, no, I think we'll be fine. I think we will be fine. Actually, hold on, are you a friend? Because some shops are friends. 
To Aloha. Aloha. Thanks, very. All right. This lady wanted us to give her ten grand to know nice. where our mother's at. Yeah, it's like these things, some of them, like, at the gyms, they have, like, you know, just regular, like, oh, you only get blue guys. And I actually got a really rare Sujimon from that. Yeah, this one. I got this Suji Surfer. Super Surfer Crash. Hey, Ow. I'm even stronger now. <clears throat> wow, wow. You bring the money? Okay. Yeah. It's all here. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> what? You surprised? I told you we'd get it done. That's our end of the deal. Time all up yours. One question. <sighs> She's seriously ignoring me. What is it? You were right that if I took this offer to the gangs, they'd torch me before paying. Why didn't you try to threaten it out of me, too? Look, we may be in a race with the bad guys and everything, but... <laughs> let's just say, I won't be able to look at Connie in the eye without knowing I messed up some old woman to find her. I mean, I considered it. You know, for a second or two. <sighs> if you tried, she had beaten you senseless. Tomorrow night. The docks near Harbor Street. Hmm? Is that it? You'll see for yourselves. Now be quiet and go. Yeah. Ah. You really are the boss's old... The docks near Harbor Street. God, we'll be there, ma'am. Yeah, let's head back for now. I'm exhausted. Be careful out there, okay? Keep your head on a swivel. Hmm. Gotta go to Revolve now. Damn, I could have just done that right away, but I... Nah, you never know sometimes. You're like, oh yeah, you do a thing, and it's like, you locks you in, but... You know it. I really wish I knew what the best thing was to give these fuckers. Like a good choice, it looked like it didn't move up at all. Yeah, that's great. I don't care. I want this calming tea. Maybe that would help me. Hello, are you? I'm just trying to think of all the, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something. What you looking at? Yeah, I should just, well, I was about to say, that's still up, so, fuck it, might as well go do that. So I can get my, uh, I think I'd have enough to fully max out the sand dude then. Might be wrong on that, but we'll see. I want to grab these first, because then after the bow, I can grab it again. We'll see who's laughing now. Okay, you asked for it. Cool. Take your break back. yourself. Oops, they want that one. Uh, 
kind of moved out of the way, so I'm just going to ignore that then. I was about to say he's for sure going to die now because of that. Alright, let's beat the shit out of this guy then. like a guaranteed when you get this but you never know you're on the safe side at least that's a low level one god damn so yeah i've been just basically going around leveling dudes up getting them their max level or being able to evolve them and such like that so Go for a level five one. Oh, and he can't evolve any higher, so. Yeah, see, I have so many of these, but I want to just, like I said, I want to use them for, like, uh,. I need to get a couple more knife twisters. I need to get five more knife twisters. And then I might have enough to fully evolve. I need one more blood shadow in order to get him fully evolved. I need two more of this guy, so. There are any knife twisters? Should grab one more. What the fuck? Hmm, I could. Maybe I should go get the rest of my classes. And we'll be fine. Let's just actually take the text to revolve. Because like I said, I want to do all story. Or mostly story here. And I haven't. And all the, the only story thing I've done was give a lady money. That's all it was. I could have gone to the shrine, see if I had enough. <laughs> see if I had enough for their, uh, for the thing. Also, I can talk to Adachi. So, I can do Adachi's next thing. If it'll let me. Nice going out there. How's it going, Adachi? Yo, what's up, Adachi-san? Hey! Actually, I talked to the bartender earlier. Huh? Oh, about Akiko-san's shop. You had him check whether or not it's in Hawaii, right? Yeah, that's right. Turns out he couldn't find anything. Oh, man. 
Sorry to hear that. But you don't know for sure, right? It's not like he combed through every grain of sand on the island. He's talked to a fair share of people, though, so honestly, I've pretty much given up already. Sometimes you end up finding what you're looking for after you forget about it. Maybe now's just not the right time? Yeah, I guess so. I did just get here, and other people have been doing the groundwork for me. I'll keep an eye out in town, see if there are any jewelry shops around from now on. Thanks. But there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, Akiko-san might consider me as nothing more than a nuisance. Why is that? Well, to tell you the truth, 20 years ago, when the shop got robbed, the police could have prevented it entirely. Prevented it? How? A few days before the incident, the police received a report claiming suspicious individuals were visiting the shop. And the person who filed the report was just a high schooler at the time. Akiko-san. Oh, dang. But there's not much the police can do when you tell them someone's acting suspicious. Exactly. Even though she came all the way to the station, they couldn't take her at her word. To them, she was just a kid. As for her parents, well... And their daughter took it so seriously that it felt like they were accompanying her just to humor her. Oh, mm. So, because none of the adults believed her, nobody stopped the robbery from happening. Well, I learned that Akiko-san had stopped by the station before, when I interviewed her after the incident. She told me that a man would visit the shop multiple days a week, but never bought anything. Also said that he'd look around with this hard, intense stare, like he was eyeing everything. Mm, yeah, that's pretty sketchy. But not sketchy enough for the police to take action, I guess. I think the best we could do is have more personnel patrolling the area, and even then we couldn't keep it up for days on end. So, because the police didn't do jack squat, a group of thieves broke in days later. And one of them was the guy Akiko-san mentioned? Yep. He was their ringleader. Wow. Damn. At the time of the crime, Akiko-san wasn't in the shop, but both her parents were. They ended up bound and gagged. Now, the two of them were lucky to get away with only minor injuries. But the psychological yeah. damage took its toll. When all was said and done, and the criminals were behind bars, they eventually shut down for good. Oh man, that's awful. Akiko-san was pissed the police didn't lift a damn finger. And I don't blame her. She played her best hand, but her folks still ended up in danger. Here's the thing. Police aren't... Majority of the time, police aren't used to prevent a crime from happening. They are used to, like, either... Uh, I can't remember, like, what the actual saying is. Like, they're not there. Like, they're there to protect and serve, but, like, they're only... Police are really only help. I don't want to make it sound bad because, like, you know, I respect some police, other police I don't, and a lot of people should not respect them either. But I respect some police. I have a couple of friends who are police officers, so obviously I respect them and respect others too. Uh, but yeah, it's I can't remember. Like, I think there was like a saying I saw, and I don't I don't know if it's like an actual true or not, or if it's something that's like, damn, that like should be true. It's like. Police aren't really here to, like, yes, they could be there to prevent crime, but they're, like, I know the whole mindset is, like, you know, they should be there to stop a crime before it happens type thing, but that's, like, never the case. It's, like, nope, I'm, you know, they're there to catch the people who commit the crime before, they're not really there to, pre they're not there to stop a crime before it happens because there's really nothing they can do within the structure of the law, which is bullshit, but, yeah, or something like that, I don't know. Oh. What exactly did she say well, what tell exactly you? What exactly did she tell you? You took a report about what happened, right? Oh, something like, I told you this would happen, but the police refused to believe a word I said. I can't imagine that was easy to hear. Well, when you're a detective, you make plenty of bitter memories. This was just a drop in the bucket. Then you want to meet Akiko-san to apologize for the incident? 
I'm not so sure myself. I just want to know if she's all right, more than anything else. If I didn't happen to be in Hawaii, I never would have even considered it. Yes, the only way to find out is to actually meet her. Yeah, I guess so. I'll try to get in touch with my old contacts from back in the day later. You know, ask him if Akiko-san really does run a shop here in Hawaii, or if someone knows someone familiar with it. Wait, what? You haven't done that yet? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to take it if by some small chance her life was in a shambles. That's why I put off the investigation. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Well, you know, after spilling my guts out to you, I feel like I could be a bit more expressive with my feelings from now on. <laughs> Glad to hear it. The best way to vent and get it all out of your system is over a few drinks with a pal. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe so. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm not perform combo attacks with allies. I already did that though. And okay, I was like, can I do? I don't think I can. no, I can't do his next one. Fuck it, let's sing some karaoke. Hope you're ready for this. They're probably just Check do this out, guys. Yeah, I was about to say they'll pro they're probably doing they're gonna do judgment like how they did uh the summer group song I did before Dachi got here. Like no Kiryu on stage, but he'll show up. We're starving dogs running the rail lines. Just getting by on any straps. We can find feet means nothing to me. This tale don't wag for no one else. A yes man has his day. That day is dead and gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are bad boys. A young man left to me is maker. Cries out no to say. Justice. We're breaking the law, breaking the world together. Throwing out all tenderness, we're breaking the rules. No cause, no choice, no going back to how it was. No slowing down because we'll keep our heads high. Our fists raised till we die, we're living by our own judgment. Judgment. So they had one goof up there. Gorgeous rubber gloves. Hey, now he can come to the thing. Cool. I, that actually might be enough people for me to have a full house now for one visit. But I should. I need to obviously bring more people. Oh, the walk and talks are. Oh. I thought the walk and talks were the. Table talks are. Yeah. Party chats are the. Okay, party chats are the green ones. Let's go check on our bird friend. Thanks. 
Oh, hey, Nancy and Sh and Olivia. <laughs> Friendly as ever. Ah, look at our little group here. Yeah, I'll be honest, that's why I kind of wanted to see karaoke was for, see if that would get my, the bartender to be friends with me. And it worked! Yo. Oh, it's after dark. Better than the main spot. Mm -hmm. Um, where's Chichon? Yeah, good question. Damn it. Sorry I'm late. Hey, it's dangerous walking around here alone, you know? Said I was sorry. Why is it not showing her face? Nah, all good. Anyway, let's get moving. That's weird. Koichi's still a threat. Uh, that's so weird that... I don't know, that's weird. Hmm? I think she was on the phone with whoever it is, which we might find out who she was talking about. Speaking of which, can I... Okay, yes. I want I want to do this one because it's a very... It's a time-sensitive one. So that's... I want to do that one, so... What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Saying a show, dipshit. Saying a show, dipshit. <laughs> you looking for me? You looking for me? Oh, because... Man... Extreme Suji Munch. Suji Munch just sounds like so bad. Hey, you. Oh, it's the Kasuga. I'm glad you decided to come. Are you ready to go to the clearing? Yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> oh. This is the spot, huh? It's kind of dark out, but... I see the tracks. Do you think these are crop circles? Mr. Cox, I got it this way. We'll be spy if we stand in the open. Do you think it'll show? It has to. I mean, how else am I going to get my chicken back? Okay. Right. Guess now just sit and wait. Still nothing. Yeah. I think maybe it's not coming. It's too early to give up. Mr. Kasuga. Hmm? Huh? Mm -hmm. I said stop mooing. You'll wake the cows. <laughs> well. Carrots on. Wake up. What's going on? Nah, it's so bright. Is it morning? No, look! The, the cow! Huh? Huh? What cow? Yeah, I'm full! Wait, what's a cow doing here? Remember the ranch? It's gonna get cattle mutilated! Huh? Cattle mutilated? Give me back my chicken, you stinking UFO! Yeah, and that cow, too! Is 
said you were gonna get weapons, right? Where are they? Yes. They're all over there. Use anything you want. Right. Uh, which one of these seems like... Uh, one of these seems like it's in a way different league, but I can't worry about that now. What should I use? Show my batting skills. All right, I'll knock this UFO out of the damn park. Did I hit it? Ooh, crap, it's got some kind of baseball defense shield. Hmm? Crash and burn, you alien scum! Ah, that's your bird dent in it. Did you just throw a fucking rock? Right. Now I get it. No mercy for the UFO! Take the rocks! See this UFO likes getting pelted with rocks! No good. Hmm? Ah, I get. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I don't think I realized just how serious she was about this. Yeah, I obviously this, but I like the other ones too. Bless you, straight back to the wormhole you you rode in on, UFO. Gotta aim this just right. Right there. Kaboom! <laughs> yeah! <coughs> nice shot, Mr. Kasuga. Hmm? Why do I feel like I've seen that UFO before? Oh my god, it's the cleaning <coughs> robot! Huh? What'd you just say? Don't tell me. You and the aliens were in cahoots this whole time? No, no. Don't know any aliens. If I were on their side, would I have just shot them with a rocket launcher? Well, you did use a baseball bat and a... Whatever. I guess not. You know, imagining things. Nope, that's Sujimaru. Look out! Something's coming! Whoa. Yep. <laughs> Miserable experience. Ah, but nighttime air is refreshing. An old man? <laughs> is this some kind of interstellar nursing home? That's not just any old man. That's Professor Okita? Mm. Oh, Lord Shrub, is that you? Fancy running into Lord each Shrub. other up here. <sighs> Mr. Kasuga! Do you know this alien geriatric? Uh, well, sort of. He's no alien. And if he's here, then that means... That means this damn thing is Soji Maru! Oh, close. She's not quite the Soji Maru you know. Her name is... Sojimaru Flying Beta Max! Sojimaru Flying Beta Max? Mm hmm. Sojimaru's final evolution the great vacuum cleaner Apotheosis. Till now, no matter her capabilities, Sojimaru was always confined to sucking up trash on cold, unfeeling land. However, the Sojimaru <laughs> Flying Beta Max is at last free! No more is she shackled to the Earth. Was that really the issue, Doc? Questions like that are the bane of all great visionaries. Think, Lord Shrub. Imagine the possibilities. Soaring majestically through the air, sucking up trash from above. Freed from her terrestrial shackles, Sojimaru can cross the sea and suck up trash from every nation on Earth! 
You see the potential, don't you? Yeah, yeah but it's uh... I guess so. And from such a high vantage point, spotting trash will be easier than ever for her. Picture her flying through the air above the seas, sucking up trash. With an army of Sojimaru, we could clean the planet itself. And it all starts right here with the ultimate vacuum. Sojimaru flying Betamax. Mm, there's a lot of promise there, Doc, I guess. I can't help but have a bad feeling, though. Um, excuse me. There's still the matter of my chicken. Your UFO vacuum sucked her up. Hmm? Chicken? Right. This woman's pet chicken got abducted by your vacuum. And a cow. You can get it back to her. Oh, now that you mention it, there was a chicken in there with me that I couldn't explain. Odd, though. According to her latest programming, she shouldn't be sucking up any living beings, much less chickens. Really this time? I made doubly sure. You think my Sojimaru can't tell trash from non-trash? That's no vacuum cleaner, that's a lethal weapon! You'll see. I'll just press this button and give you a demonstration right now! Sojimaru, clean up the trash! Trash. Trash detected. Cleaning mode activated. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> Figures. Lord Shrub, help me! Sojimaru's gone crazy! She must think I'm trash! It can't be. Was she listening when I drank myself depressed last night and started crying that the whole world is garbage? You have got to be more careful about passing down these kinds of issues, Doc. Oh, whatever, just help me! Oh, and to give her more durability, I refitted her chassis with special armor! She's basically a flying tank now! FYI! FYI! Why does the vacuum need special armor? M M M Mr. Kosaka! Get behind me, Karen! I'll take this thing down and save your chicken and the professor! Oh, thank you! What about the cow? Look out! You got Sojimaru's attention, Lord Shrub! She's coming after you! She's coming after you! Damn it! Bring it on then! <laughs> <laughs> I will leave the sky itself sparkling clean. That's kicking time! Da -na -na. Nah, I'm not gonna use the power of friendship. music man happy birthday And then you can rest. Prepare yourself! Let's clear the way to the enemy. I'm off from rocking, so you know. Alright! Here I come! 
Happy birthday! Damn, that's a lot of money. Two of us leveled up, so that's good. But I'm still gonna go eat. Especially it depends on where they drop me off at. It, it's down. Lord Shrub, that was incredible. <laughs> There's Benny. Becky. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Ooh. What about the cow? And we're going to see oh, an actual shit. UFO up in the sky, aren't we? What? Oh. <laughs> what happened? Why exactly are all these old men coming out of her now? It seems that she's predisposed toward considering old men to be trash. I wonder why that is. Sheesh. Uh, look, ambition is one thing, Doc, uh, but in these kinds of tech fields, you really might need some precautions. You know how, like, a really hyped-up video game is super disappointing if it comes out buggy and unpolished? The same kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts to hear, but I suppose you're right. You Are you going to become a, many times. Here, a possible at guest at my this. island now, Professor? I owe you two. Thank you so very much. You believed me and got my Becky back. What about the cow, though? I guess now people won't take you for some delusional sci-fi nerd, huh? <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> Looks like UFOs aren't real after all. Well, you never know. Indeed. UFOs, aliens, it's all magical thinking. Next time you spot a UFO, just assume it's a scientific prototype like mine. <laughs> Come on. All right, show off. Show us the UFO. Ho, ho, ho. There is no progress without failure, my friends. What about the cow? Yep, there it is. Close encounters of the bird kind. Oh! A palmate? That's interesting. And brought me all the way here. Well, good news is it actually brought me to the. Let's say there's actually a guy here who, Aloha. who I was close to being friends with. So let me just buy that from you. Let me buy your five safe keys because why not? I've got the money to burn. I'm also now friends with you, Bill. So. Wait, I should have read what you said. Aloha. Fuck about one of those two. I'll just face. we'll just go to the one that's hey. by revolve mm -hmm. again. You put your face. Take that taxi. Plus, I can stop by here see if I have enough to get the next. I don't think I do, but you never know. Ah, I'm close, though. Maybe Professor Mori Castle. Actually, how I have money in the 18th, don't I? Yeah, fuck it. I don't need to have money in my ATM. Uh, I did have. I'm actually curious if Dr. Mori would actually be a 
uh, someone that shows up at the uh um at the island i was wondering if that would have been the case but we got a sushi bite out of it so hello Gotta be careful here. You know, what? I'm actually gonna make a save here because I don't know why. I feel like this could be the end of the chapter. Not here yet, huh? Or she took the money and played us like the dumbass, dumbest assholes on earth. Keep that annoying voice of yours yeah. down. Jesus! You scared the shit out of me. I thought you were a ghost. Lee, don't everything you asked us to. Where's Akane son? First of all, here. Hmm? Huh? This is the 10 grand we paid you. I'm not so hard up that I've got to explore like the dumbest assholes on earth. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Why all we get all this in the first place? Have you ever heard of putting your money where your mouth is? Just a little test of mine. <laughs> I guess I appreciate you being careful and giving it back. Get in. lady oh bursting for a piss too don't you dare pee in my boat right there see it is it the island or it's another boat oh, okay that a cruiser here it comes listen huh? okay right now we're short on faith but shorter on time Trusting you is a gamble. For your sake, don't let me regret it. I'm not sure I get you. But when someone bets big on me, I pay off. Hell yeah, he does. Hope so. Hey, how about you talk straight with us? Best place to hide a tree's the forest. Here, we've got something better. We keep precious cargo at sea. Huh? No kidding. <sighs> oh, there they are. Son? <laughs> I suppose I should say hello. Ichiban Kasuka-san. Oh. Now it makes sense. Hiding out on the ocean. Rice was scouring the city, but they were never there. And you, you were the old woman's contact this whole time. You watch your tongue talking about her. When she was a Palekana volunteer, she did a lot of good for people. You don't want to find out how far I'd go to protect her. <laughs> now, what about her, though? So this is who Bryce is tearing up the island for? It's okay. Introduce yourself. Nice to meet you. My name is Lonnie. My name's Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. It's nice to meet you too, Lonnie. 
Thank Watch you on. Much. Which means you're Akane san, aren't you? Hmm, that's right. Akane Kishida. I appreciate all you've been through. Just for my and Lonnie's sake. I'm very sorry. Hey, everything we did was our choice. Yeah, you got nothing to be sorry for. Besides, you're Kasuga's mother, aren't you? We'd have followed you into hell itself. Your boy here knows how to inspire folks. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. How troublesome must it be to have an old woman interrupt your life, claiming to be your mother? To be honest, it still hasn't sunk in. I, uh, I'm not really sure how to. I feel like everyone else should leave the room. Don't worry. That's a very normal response. Sawashiro-san knew that I was being selfish, reaching out to you. I had to beg him before he'd do it. <sighs> Still, thank you for finding me. It's good to meet you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, Akane-san. It is okay to call you that, right? <laughs> of course it is. Gotta give her the ashes, huh? There's a lot we should probably talk about. But right now, your safety is top priority. Yeah, now that we're back on land, who knows when Bryce might sniff us out. Say, Lonnie, have you ever been to Japan? Mm -mm. Okay, well, Akane-san's gonna take you there, all right? It's colder than it is here, but the food's great. If we go there, Akane will be safe? Yeah, Akane-san can rest easy, and you won't have to hide anymore. I'm... It's true. Japan's a I nice won't really place. say that because now we know okay. that then Sa who knows what Sa Saoshiro's right. actual intentions are. Moving. Thankfully, the Daidoji faction's here. They've got a lot of pull back home. Daidoji? Yeah, they can get you and Akane-san to Japan in a snap. That sound okay to you, Akane-san? Mm-hmm. Kiyo-san and I knew that we could only keep hiding for so long. We'll put our faith in you from here on. Uh, Kiyo-san? the name of the tattoo artist? Uh, <laughs> great, great name. It, it suits you. Sorry, we probably should have asked. Don't wear it out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make the call. Hold on a second. Hanawa? Yeah. He said he could arrange a flight out for us. Let's uh -oh. hope these guys are as good as their word. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chitose. No. Good? No. Oh, um, yeah. Don't mind me. No, Chitso Chitose. Yeah. Make sure it's ready. We'll bring them by soon. Hanawa's place is kind of far from here. Think you could get us a ride? The Daidoji safe house is the best spot for Akane-san and Lani right now. I can get you something sturdy. Bulletproof. Driver to go with it, too. Just say the word. You may not know this, but I was a hell of a getaway driver back in the day. <sighs> just you just may not know say this, what is I'm a former up. cop. How about that? Guess we'll just leave the past in the past for now. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Hey, you're a cop of Japan. Oh, Chitose. Something's up with Chitose. Alright, the boys are bringing the car by now. Take care of whatever you need before we leave. Just give me a hollow when you're ready. You can prepare for anything from now on. Oh, now here is where... Ch yeah, this is going to be the end of the chapter here. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I don't like how Chitose is acting. Say, Akane san, mind if I ask something? These people, why are they after the two of you? 
Uh, it's this. It's what Lonnie's carrying. Huh? Lonnie, would you show him? Oh. Um... It's okay. Kaskasan's someone you can trust. <gasps> oh! Uh, pendant? That's Polycona's insignia. It is. I've seen this before somewhere. Oh! Before! Bryce was wearing one that looked like that. And I think... Callan and Dana and the other poly... I think... Isn't that... I think that's the thing that they got grabbed from the people that were killed at the way beginning of the game too was like that thing. They all dress pretty similar, but none of them had a pendant quite like this. No wonder it stood out at the time. This one's unique. It's the sage of Polycana's birthright. It's been passed down through generations since the order was founded. A sacred relic. Truly one of a kind. Oh, that's a real one. one. Of a kind, huh? But Bryce has a fake Th one. That would mean. Right. Therein lies the problem. You see, I met Lonnie only recently. About two weeks ago now, I think. It was late. Close to midnight, best as I recall. The rest of the orphanage staff had gone. Children were all asleep. I'd been catching up on paperwork, staying overtime. Staying until midnight? I guess you had a lot of responsibility as director. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, but it's a rewarding job. Anyway, it was around then I heard a knock on the door. And there she was. Lonnie, in all my time at the orphanage, no one had ever come to us like that. Alone, in the middle of the night. Lonnie, what brought you to Akane-san's place? I never had a mom or dad. I grew up with my grandma. But then, grandma got sick. She went to the hospital. They told us she wouldn't get better. I'm really sorry. Grandma said, if she had to leave me, she needed to make sure I'd be okay. She gave me this pendant and a letter, and said that in Honolulu, there's a Polycana orphanage I should go to. What was in the letter? It's less of a letter, more of a will, but not from Lonnie's grandmother. It's 70 years old. Written by Pollock Hanna's sage at the time. Now that's pretty fucking interesting. What does it say, Akane-san? I've memorized every word of it. If, in the event of my death, Bryce Fairchild is named Sage of Polycana, his claim must be deemed illegitimate and falsely gained. Oh. <gasps> The rightful sage, as elected by our officers, shall be born only of the Mililani family. To this true successor, I bequeath our most precious heraldry. Oh. The Mililani family has one living heir. Lani. So, you memorized the letter, but do you have the letter? Because I don't think people are going to believe you unless they have that letter. Let's be honest here. But I mean, I guess that you have the relic thing, but even then it's still, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like the letter would help to bear proof of it. Um, but still, like. I don't know. I feel like it'd be, I feel like more weight would be behind your claim if, uh, if you had that too. Just saying. When she brought that to me, I could scarcely believe it was authentic. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole time, Bryce must have seemed like a righteous leader. You couldn't have known he was hiding anything. That's why. That's why I fell into his trap. I called Bryce to ask him about it. Oh, well, shit. You did what came naturally. Uh, that letter was way too much to handle on your own. It would have been standard procedure to inform Bryce, I'm sure. 
Thank you. Probably shouldn't have informed the person but that said, hey. Standard or not, it was the worst move I could have made. Yeah. I got Lonnie something to eat and called Bryce's number. Despite how late it was, Bryce immediately said he'd come over. That was when I started feeling like something was wrong. <sighs> Bryce got there acting like usual. Then he saw the pendant and the will. Before I knew it, Lonnie had a gun pointed at her. Oh. All I could do was take her hand and run away. But Bryce's men were already after us. We were being hunted. Everyone in Polygon I used to trust turned on us. But somehow, we got to Night Square, where Kyo-san was willing to give us shelter. You were in my turf from the very start, and I never found you. Ugh, I'll never live this shit down. Hey, it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Since you and Bryce are enemies, it meant Night Square was safe for them. Wait, didn't Dana say that Akane-san left a letter behind? With all his resources, I bet the Sage has a forger on payroll. I guess so. That means the police who gave up looking are probably with Bryce, too. Yeah, no shit. Anyway, if he was ready to kill a little girl just like that, this is the real deal. That night, did he come alone? I, I've said this before and say it again. This actually has a lot of parallels with Yakuza 1. Like, as... Not weird, but, like, as interesting as that is. Because it's like, oh, that's very interesting how, like, there it has some good parallels with Yakuza 1. <clears throat> Maybe he didn't want his people learning the truth. And now every gang in Hawaii is trying to cover it up. By now, he must be desperate. Uh, hey, Akane-san. What did the will mean about him being illegitimate? From what I understand, the last sage was killed in a robbery. Oh, that's who that was at the beginning. Yep. Bryce claims that the sage entrusted his pendant to him as he was dying. If falsely gained means what I think it might. Then Bryce might have been behind that robbery, huh? Seems like the last sage saw Bryce for what he was, according to the Yeah. Man. In that case... This pendant's the real thing. And Bryce's must be. Most likely, a fake. The last sage could have sensed something amiss and switched pendants in advance. Probably, considering what he wrote down. Now it Again, makes I hope that I hope you saw that will, because that'll be very helpful. Secret. So this Millie Lonnie family, what happened? They must have known the danger they'd face challenging him. Even after so long, Bryce is crazed when it comes to maintaining power. Uh, seems that way. And so, the Mililani family abandoned Palakana for their own safety. Lani's grandmother had no ties to them. I doubt she even fully knew the pendant's true worth. She may have only thought Palakana would look after Lani if she had it in her possession, never realizing the danger it put her in. This means Lonnie is the real sage of Polycana, doesn't it? Uh, <sighs> a child shouldn't have to bear that kind of burden. Polycana has gone this long without her. There's no good reason to involve her now. Yeah, but I mean, you're right. It's all going to be okay. With how old Bryce is? Sit tight. With Let the how he's been that old you. and how he's stayed that young, but still. Grown-ups. It's really been 45 years. You're older now than Masumi-san was the last time I saw him. You should have seen me in my prime. Uh, sorry you couldn't. I should say the same thing to you. But I've always wanted to hold you again. Give her the ashes, Kasuga. And now, 
Oh, you're much too big for me to pick up. Oh, yeah. Don't want to hurt your back. Thing is, Akane-san, I know you best as the woman Arakawa-san told me about. Hmm? How you carried a newborn out of the hospital, doing everything you could to protect it? I mean, that's just amazing. There was nothing amazing about it. All I did was run for my life. And when I stowed that baby away, I had given up on everything. Akane-san, look what you're doing right now. Running with a child. So I am. <laughs> Some people never learn, do we? You know, Arakawa-san said to me that... Of all the women over the years, there was only one. <sighs> Even if I've only just met you, I can tell why. Thank you for that. <laughs> Aww. Eyes on the damn road. <laughs> of course. I'll deliver you safely. I swear on my life, boss. Aw, this dude that dude's a bro, man. Oh, which is gonna right suck here, when Chitose safe fucking just up there. fucks us over. Hold back a second. Tetsu. All quiet. Nobody in sight. Saji. Everything looks okay, boss. Coast is clear. That's all I've got for you. I appreciate this, Yamai. It's usually too late for men like us to do right by the people we came from. Hmm. I would definitely have, you know, had someone go in first before them, just because. It's us, Kasuga and everyone. I've arranged for a private jet. We're preparing for takeoff now. Another 30 minutes or so. Feel free to rest in the meantime. Oh, that's posh. Perks of being an evil enterprise? Huh? Well, hardly evil. We simply maintain the status quo. Can't see much of a difference there. <laughs> Welcome. I'm pleased you're safe. I take it you're Akane-san then. At last, we've searched for some time. I'm moved to confess. I'm curious why my superiors find you so valuable. <clears throat> Hanawa-san, you have any tact? Could I at least try putting him at ease? Hmm. Uh, let's sit. Please. Chitose. Oh! He's in on it too! <laughs> What's wrong, Chitose-san? Just now, I saw you trying to call someone. Wh what are you talking about? Hold up. Something wrong, Chichon? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Quit playing games, Chitose-san. My phone. May I have it back? <laughs> Chitose-san. Or he's the... Hey... Chichana. Listen carefully, Ichiban. He was never the person you thought he was. Akane-san and Lani aren't safe here. Huh? <sighs> Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. He's been blackmailing me all along. Oh. I couldn't tell you. I'm confused. Is this some kind of private joke I don't get? Chi-chan, how could A-chan be blackmailing you? With what? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Chitose-san and I just met the other day. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? He can 
move his legs just fine. The wheelchair's a goddamn front. Ichiban, think about it. You used to care for someone in a wheelchair. Masato Arakawa, right? Oh, the in experimental drug? He reminds you of him, doesn't he? That was the plan from the beginning. Get in the chair. Play on your sympathies. Wait a second. You're saying Achan? You're saying his legs work? He can walk? No. I, I, I'd have known. I, I would have been able to tell. Achan wasn't. He's not. <laughs> nope, he can. Damn, Alex Lee! You evil! Oh, look at you. Never been a bigger sucker. <laughs> Lidocaine, it's called. It's a fast acting localized anesthetic. At the time, I said, how hard could it be to fake being crippled? <laughs> Luckily, Ebina-san insisted you'd spot an act. <laughs> Ebina? Yep. As in Siryu clan Ebina? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the fuck? Who are you? Oh. Huh? They know everything. Akane-san and Lani. What? They have to get out of here. Oh, how disappointing. Chitose Fujinomiya. He never had the heart. Never could see it through. You know what's going to happen now. Your life's not worth shit. Hey, John. You bastard. Ichiban, we don't have time. They're already here. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, fuck. Oh. No mercy. We have to get her back. Damn it. I'm coming through. You son of bitches. You're going home in a body. Right. Time to throw down. No mercy. Let's do this, guys. Right on. Here's what true friends are made of. Uh, I, uh. Did I, I was like, oh, Achan's probably going to be t in on it uh, at some point. I don't know. Hanawa, though. And, uh, dude, Wulong. She's unconscious, but she'll be okay. Hanawa. It's, uh, not good for them. 
Huh? Hanawa san and Wong? They were both shot. They're dead. Wong was shot in the shoulder! <gasps> well, maybe not fine, but. No. And this is when the phone's gonna ring. Wong. Hanawa san! Oh, no, he, okay, yeah, no. Juan was shot more in the lower back, not on the shoulder. Never mind, no, he's dead. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. Yep, there it is. Kill your son. It's Kasuga. What's happened? Hanuo-san. He's been killed. Wong, too. And Lani. Only Kana has her. She's gone. Forgive me. Everything. I screwed everything up. Oh, Kasuga. Found and lost. Oh my god. <sighs> That's... Jesus, man. That was good. Um, fuck. That is... Wow. I mean, that is gonna have to do it for this part of Let's Play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Then the next part, guys, uh, we'll start Chapter 10. We're definitely getting close to the end of the game here i'm just so i'm so curious as to what um I, yeah i'm just curious jesus i'm so glad like you know he finally met akane and you know and we learned about lonnie's true past it's like i said it usually all get they usually take their time to tie everything that happens, like, at the beginning, something that happens, and then they kind of never really mention it or anything like that. I think I did mention, like, oh, maybe they were tied to Polycon or something, and lo and behold, they were, because he was the the old sage and everything, so. Fucking hell, man. I'm, ooh, that was a lot. But learning about Lonnie and, God. But yeah, guys, Um, thank you all for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below, like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of just everything that went on. I I'll be honest, I am somewhat tempted to, to not, like, I'd make the save, but I'm not going to continue on. Like, I kind of want to reload um, the save beforehand. and Because we're going, we're going back to Kiryu. We are definitely going back to Kiryu after this. So, just, like, reload that save and just get, like, a shit ton of money from, uh, you know, the uh, Dondoko Islands and everything. But, man, fucking hell, man. That was intense. So good, too. But, yeah, let me know of everything. And, as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to our main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.